Hey everybody, welcome to Sophistic Cakes. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful ombre watercolor cake. For this cake, I used lavenders and purple, and I used some fresh floral and some touches of gold. So if this sounds like something that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned and I will get you all the details right after the intro. And just like any cake, we need to first put the cake together before we can decorate it. So for this cake, I wanted to have a taller cake. So I have five layers of six inch cake. To assemble the cakes, I just used my regular American buttercream. I did a dam between each layer and then filled it in. A dam is just buttercream that you place in a circle pattern around the perimeter of the cake before you fill it in to keep the filling from spilling out the sides. And I did this with each layer using my offset spatula to level it out before I put the next layer of cake on. Now you do not have to use a piping bag. You can just put a dollop of buttercream on the cake and then just use your spatula to smooth it out if that's what you prefer. I'm just making sure that it's as level as I can get it. And now I'm gonna do a thin crumb coat. A crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream that keeps all of the crumbs attached to the cake. So when you do your final layer of buttercream, you're not pulling those crumbs through onto the surface of the buttercream. Now this does not have to be perfect, but get it as smooth as you can. And I like to use my plastic um, scraper. I like to use these a lot because I like the weight of them. I just To do the ombre, I did one on, at the bottom of the cake, one layer of the darker color, and then I added some white to what I had left of that darker color to lighten it up another level and do uh, another section of that, and then do the same thing. Use what you have of that second color, add some white to it, and lighten it up some even more. Now these do not have to be nice and tidy and clean and straight lines because I wanted them to kind of blend into each other. I didn't want to have specific markations of where one color stopped and the next color began. So you'll see me going through and blending this quite a bit. I did a lot of messing around with this cake because I, as you can see here, I have um, a little bit too much of a line of de demarcation in between the colors. And I didn't like that. So I do end up going back in and using a slightly lighter color on the bottom and then kind of mixing the colors in together. And do this in between all of your colors. This does not have to be completely thought out and planned out and done precisely. I didn't want that. Watercolor is just a wash of color is what it basically is. And the beauty of the watercolor is that you can go in and mess around and get it how you want it. You don't have to worry about messing it up really. And I even added some white in there on the bottom just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Now some of the white did come through on the bottom and you know what, I kind of like that. So I did try to cover it up, it came through again and I just decided to keep it. Make it part of your design. That's the thing. This is your design on your cakes. You get to decide what it is supposed to look like. So if you're having a problem with a spot, maybe take a step back, look at it, reassess it, leave the room. Sometimes you're too on top of your project and you can't see it for what it truly is. Come back and look at it and see, oh, well maybe I kind of like that actually. And that's why I decided with this cake. So then I use some edible gold leaf and I'm just using a brush and my fingers to place that. You can use tweezers if you want to. And I do have a small pair of tweezers that I use for cakes, but 
I, I sometimes I struggle with the tweezers. I think I'd rather use my fingers and the brush. Just make sure that your hands are clean. And I did switch to a fan brush here because the bristles on the other brush that I was using were a little too coarse and they were kind of scraping up the surface a little too much. I did not have a specific, a specific pattern for this. I just kind of put the pieces where I thought that they looked like they should go. I wanted it to go kind of at a diagonal though to kind of emphasize that white spot at the bottom. Now I used some fresh floral on this cake and I'll show you how I make this cake safe. But first of all, I need to cut the blooms off of the stem. Leave your stem about two inches long so that you have some um, length to work with here. And use your floral tape. You pull it and stretch it to activate the glue on that. And you just kind of wrap it around itself and it sticks to itself. Make sure you get the tip of that stem covered. Right there was where I'm doing that because that's where the juices from the stem are gonna come out. So make sure that you get that covered for sure. And then just pull off, this tape was <laughs> really didn't want to pull apart. And just make sure that you have it stuck on there good. And there's the big purple one. And I did that with all of them. I didn't show you all of them, but I did do that with all of the flowers. And I did get some greenery, but I ended up not using it because honestly, it just didn't have enough leaves on it. And it looked a little sparse. So I just stuck with the flowers. And here, they're all ready to be put onto the cake. Now, if you prefer to put a straw in your cake first before you put the stem in, that's fine. That's just a one extra step if you want to do that. That's great, but I feel like it is food safe having the floral tape on it. But if somebody expresses concern about the fresh floral on the cake, I will put straws in there. I've never had anybody say, hey, it was really juicy and it tasted like flora and fauna. <laughs> I've never had anybody say that, so I'm not worried about it really. Then I used some other gold accents just to kind of fill in and to tie it all together. You could use tweezers to put these dragées on also, but I just find that I, I don't know, I kind of struggle with the tweezers. I have a finger, my index finger on my right hand. I cut the nerve with an X-Acto knife a few years ago, and I really don't have feeling in that finger. So I do drop a lot of things. <laughs> I think I have a hold of something and whoops, there it goes. I drop a lot of these dragées. And tweezers are even harder for me to hold on to. Tweezers, pencils, pens, it's so annoying. Maybe one day the feeling will come back, but I doubt it at this point. For this one, I used three different sizes, the large, uh, balls, the medium, and then the small dragées. Just some varying textures there. So there you go guys. There she's all done. This is my ombre watercolor cake. I hope you like this. And if you did, please take a second to subscribe and share and comment and like. Do all the things. That's how I know what you like. And I want to make videos that you like. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.